good cop, good cop. <laughs> there's no such thing! I told you there's only one permutation that works. Okay, I have this idea. Sad cop, somewhat effeminate cop. <laughs> want to vote early in person do it you want to vote from home apply for your ballot and get it in as soon as possible my brothers and sisters and i in blue will do our solemn best to make sure your ballot is delivered to be so powerful. You know what they say, under every great man is a great woman. Don't you mean behind every man? Oh, you're dirty. The only thing I like better than working next to you for 30 years is eating next to you for 30 years. Don't you usually coil yourself around that and wait for it to die? <laughs> Thank you, Gina. For what? For servicing our troops during the Civil War. <laughs> You're gonna fire me, aren't you? <laughs> Why would you think that? Because I won't give you the phone number. Oh, that would and be. And if you think that I won't cause a scene just because we're in a fancy restaurant, you had better think again. Because I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think of your sorry ass yeah. and the loser school that owns it. Because I, Nina Campbell, I'm quitting. Oh, I work damn hard for you. Uh, Nina, sit down. I'm not firing you. You're not? No. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I'd like to change my order. Bring me the rack of lamb and a beef eater martini straight up with an eye. <laughs> By Emile Zola. Mm. If you ask me what I came into this world to do, I will answer you, I came to live out loud. Mm. That's one of my favorite ones. And this one, the second one, I don't know who said it, but it says, sometimes there are no clear answers, but that doesn't mean we stop asking the hard questions. Back down to 38. Do you think this is real silk? It can't be. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I wonder if I should get this in a six or an eight. Higher. Go higher. Okay, a 10. <laughs> Can I get away with a mesh middle? Oh, God, no! <laughs> crown as your favorite project that you've ever been a part of? I uh, see it. It would have to be a triple crown. 
A triple crown. Uh, there was triple crown. There was Saturday SNL. Okay. Um, Kate and Allie. Kate and Allie. And Third Rock. That's that's what you call that's what you call a triple crown, Jane Curtin. Absolutely. <laughs> Solomon, climb the rope. Uh, yeah. What's at the top of the rope? Your self-respect is at the top of the rope. Uh, all right, run this by me again. I climb up there, and then I... Yeah, climb down! Yeah, and this gives me self-respect, uh, because... Okay, look, you don't want to climb the rope, you can go sit over there with the girls. Teachers yeah. should, should be celebrated way more than entertainers, let's be honest. Yeah, no, yeah. they're heroes. So, but I, yeah, I play a teacher in Mr. Corman, and, and absolutely, I've had a number of teachers that were so impactful on me. And the, the first one I think of is, when I was a little kid, I had this teacher, her name was Miss Karen, and she taught music. I'm tired of being handsome. You know, all people see when they look at me is a pretty face, and then they end up treating me like I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Forget it. Well, I'm not gonna be handsome anymore. You can't just stop being handsome, Harry. Oh, no? <laughs> A lot of things happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of things happened. Oh, okay. Is that no, it? I just <laughs> want to see Joe like a little bit nervous right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's no. All. That's we, all. I we, bet you are. We had like a, a kind of like a, a wonderful youth. It was the last. We swallowed it up. We're the, we're the last of the baby boomers. Oh, so we right. swallowed up all the fun. Mm. <laughs> And so we got the last of the 80s fun, and that was, that was uh, me and Joe, and just, you know. Sally, what's going on here? Oh, I am throwing you a power brush. That's nice. <laughs> What's the occasion? Well, I'm going to turn you into a success instead of a failure. I am not. <laughs> hey, this jacket's got my name on it. I invited everyone from the top ten list along with some other very important Rutherfordites. Now stick your tongue out and roll your eyes in the back of your head. Now you look as dumb as you oh. are. Sounds of the Chuck. Oh, yeah. Sit down, oh, Wayne. Chuck, Chuck, let's go. Led by the moonlight.
is it like to step back into this character after 10 years? Wonderful. Just great to see them again. You wouldn't think so, but, but uh, doing a serial killer on Dexter was really, really fun. Why so, do you even prepare for something like that? <laughs> Since it's so foreign, I know it's called acting. I know it's called well, acting, but what do you do? The good news is the writers prepare for you. Uh -huh. they, they, and I was hired last minute, you know. Uh, actually, I ran into an actor who had been offered the role before I had.